Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we talk about neck dive. Recently, I saw a thread on a Facebook group asking how people deal with neck dive. And I saw a lot of suggestions about changing your strap type to a leather strap to grip your, your shoulder and changing out your tuners, things like that. But what I didn't see is a fix that I've been using for several years and I thought I would share it with you guys. But first, what is neck dive? Neck dive is most famously exhibited in a guitar like the Gibson SG, but a lot of times offset guitars also have the same issue to some degree. And that comes from the bodies generally being offset, meaning the waist of the guitar is not straight up and down, but it is offset. Um, this will often result in a little bit of neck dive or in the Gibson SG's case, a lot of neck dive. This means if you are in playing position, standing up with the guitar strapped on you and you let go, the headstock end of the guitar will dive to the ground. Now, this can be bad for several reasons. A, there's a little bit of weight on your palm, on your fretting hand, and B, if you're not paying attention, it'll slam into the ground and damage the guitar. And other one of those things is not good. So the fix that I have been using for, oh man, I don't know, 20 years or so, is a fix using wheel weights. Now, I worked on cars for many, many years, and with the nicer wheels that don't have um, a lip on the rim or something that you don't want to use the clip on weights to balance the tires, you use these, you use stick on adhesive weights. Now these are basically, think of them as lead weights with an adhesive double back backing and they stick very, very well to any surface you put them on. And they come in different uh, sizes. They have a quarter ounce and I believe they have half ounce and they generally come in a box. This is a four pound box. This is very, very heavy, but this entire box was, I think it was 10 to $20 um, on Amazon. I've had this for several years, so I don't really remember, but it was definitely less than $20. And with this, you can take care of neck dive. Now with these weights, you are going to open up the control cavity on the back of your guitar. And why we're going to do this is because we are going to put some of the stick on weights in the control cavity. This way, when we have the guitar strapped on, the additional weight on this end will counteract any desire for the guitar to swing downwards, thusly eliminating neck dive. Now this guitar I have here today is serial number one, Balaguer Hyperion. And when I got this guitar, I was instantly in love with this guitar. I have toured with this guitar for many years. It is road worn, it is dirty, it smells, but it did have neck dive being the very first guitar off the line. And so what I did is I put some wheel weights in the control cavity. Now, one thing you do have to worry about is the wheel weights shorting out anything against the uh, potentiometers or anything like that. And this is obviously dependent on the size of the cavity. Some guitars have very large cavities and others do not. But um, as a precaution, I will sometimes take electrical tape and put that on the outside of the tape weights themselves. Although in this case, these particular ones that I have, they have some kind of a clear coat and they are not conductive. So I don't really have to worry about that with these particular kind, but not all of them are made like that. This is a very simple fix. It's quick and it doesn't require any modification like moving the strap button on the back of your guitar because who wants to put additional holes in the body of their guitar? I certainly do not and I have found this very effective in the past with any instruments that I have had, uh, have a neck diving issue, and I hope this helps you as well. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.